Hi, I'm Gladys, and today we're going to assemble the Larkin crib. Make sure you have all the pieces and hardware, and if anything is missing, please call Customer Care. One way to know you have the proper hardware is to compare them with the illustrations that come with the instructions. Like that. The first step is to attach the posts to the sides of the crib. And for this, we're going to need two metal pins, four barrel nuts, and four 60 millimeter bolts and your Allen wrench. Always use the labels as guidance. Remember to insert the barrel nut on sideways so the bolt can go through. And remember to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten all the bolts. And you're done. Now we're going to attach the stabilizer bar to the front rail. And for this, we're going to need four metal pins. And you're done. The next step is to attach the sides of the crib to the front rail. And for this, we're going to need four barrel nuts and four 70 millimeter bolts. Don't forget your Allen wrench. If you're working by yourself, it's easier if you do it on the floor. Remember to insert the barrel nuts sideways so the bolt can go through. Don't forget to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten all the bolts. And you're done. Next is to attach the mattress support. Please use the highest position and then go downwards as your child grows. And for this, we're going to need four 18 millimeter bolts. Don't forget to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten all the bolts. In order to make the next step easier, don't tighten the last corner all the way. And you're done. Now we're going to work on the back rail. For this, we're going to need two barrel nuts and two 70 millimeter bolts.
Remember to insert the barrel nut sideways so the bolt can go through. Remember to tighten the last corner of the mattress support. Like that. Now we're going to work on the back top rail. And for this, you're going to need two metal pins, four barrel nuts, and four 70 millimeter bolts. The pins go first. Remember to insert the barrel nut sideways so the bolt can go through. And you're done. Remember to store your instructions in the pouch they came in. Congratulations, you've just assembled your Larkin crib. Now we're going to convert your crib into a day bed. Remember those instructions you stored away? You're going to need them. The first step is to remove the front rail and stabilizer bar. Remember, since the child is bigger now, the mattress support should be on its lowest position. Now we're going to attach the stabilizer bar. And for this, you're going to need two metal pins, two barrel nuts, and two 70 millimeter bolts. Remember to insert the barrel nut sideways so the bolt can go through. Now that you have attached the stabilizer bar, make sure all of the corners of the mattress support are secured. Like that. A toddler guardrail and crib conversion rails are available for purchase.
Hi, I'm Gladys, and today we're going to assemble the Larkin Crib. Make sure you have all the pieces and hardware, and if anything is missing, please call Customer Care. One way to know you have the proper hardware is to compare them with the illustrations that come with the instructions. Like that. The first step is to attach the posts to the sides of the crib. And for this, we're going to need two metal pins, four barrel nuts, and four 60 millimeter bolts and your Allen wrench. Always use the labels as guidance. 